Audio jump. This is the emergency broadcast system. This is not a test. Repeat, this is not a test. Citizens are advised to take the following steps. Stay Audio alert jump. to news media events or local emergency alert notifications. Avoid contact with the infected. If evacuation is impossible, move indoors and initiate in-place sheltering. Use a gas mask, or if none are available, cover your mouth and nose with a clean cloth that has been soaked with a solution of one cup water and one Audio tablespoon jump. of baking soda. Also, cover bare skin and make sure that cuts and abrasions are covered. If exposed, remove clothes and seal in a plastic bag. Audio Immediately jump. wash off using copious amounts of warm, soapy water or a diluted 10 to 1 bleach solution. Since biological agents are being used to combat the outbreak, be sure to shut the windows and air intake vents to your shelter. If possible, stay upwind from the source of biological agents. Seek medical attention as quickly as possible after coming into contact with the infected or a biological agent. If evacuated, do not return home until local authorities say it is safe. Upon arriving home, open up all the windows and doors to provide natural ventilation. Do not attempt to try mechanical ventilation, such as electric fans, as jump. an explosive threat may be present. Find out from local authorities how to clean up your land and property. Discard food and water supplies that were impacted Audio by jump. the hazardous material contamination. This is the emergency broadcast system. Now, just when I thought this issue regarding Fort Greeley was intact, New York has just issued a public service announcement on what to do in case of a nuclear attack. Let's talk on the mic. Hello, hello, good people. This is your guy, Mr. Educator, Mr. Communicator, Mr. Free Thinker, coming back at you live once again from the Lone Star State with another edition of the Media Mike Speaks. All right, good people. As you saw, I can't believe this. Look, New York City Emergency Management released a new nuclear attack public service announcement on Monday, despite admitting the likelihood of an attack being very low, according to them. Now, the grim video begins with an animated depiction of New York City after a nuclear explosion, including piles of rubble and sirens blaring. Now, I don't know why they would do this now, but here's the example. Quotes, so there's been a nuclear attack. Don't ask me how or why. Just know that the big one has hit. Okay, so what do we do? There are three important steps that I want you to remember. The video's host states. Now, you can go ahead and download the video. You can find it. So, on Google, you can Google it. But anyway, it says step one get inside fast. Well, you should. Why would you be outside? But you may not even have that time. You, your friends, and family get inside. And no, staying in the car is not an option. You need to get into a building and move away from the windows. We're talking New York City, people. Not New York State, New York City. Which is going to be virtually impossible to do. Step two, stay inside. Why would you go back out when you... Anyway, shut all doors and windows. Have a basement. And if you don't, hmm, head there if you do. And it says if you don't have one, get as far into the middle of the building as possible. She continues. We talk, what about homes here? <laughs> if, you were, if you were outside after the blast, get cleaned immediately. Remove and, and bag all outdoor clothing to keep radioactive dust or ash away from your body. Unquote. You'll be dead. So it just, just anyway. Step three: Stay tuned. Follow media for more information. Don't forget to sign up for Notify NYC for official alerts and updates. And don't go outside until officials say it's safe. All right, you've got this. The host adds. That's the video, good people. Now here's the thing. Uh, EMP. EMP. Electric magnetic pulse. It wipes out everything the minute the blast occurs. Nothing works. But they didn't tell you that part. Let's continue. A press release from New York City uh, NYC management states that while the likelihood, likelihood of a nuclear weapon incident occurring in New York City is very low, it is important New York 
quote, important New Yorkers know the steps to stay safe, unquote. It uh, goes on to quote, New York City Emergency Management has a multitude of free resources for New Yorkers to prepare for emergencies, including no-notice events, said New York City Management Commissioner Zach Isco in a statement. As the threat landscape continues to evolve, it's important that New Yorkers know we are preparing for any Im imminent threats and are providing them with the resources they need to stay safe and informed. Unquote. Now, Christina Farrell, the first Deputy Commissioner of Emergency Management, she stated that the probability of a nuclear attack is low, but if one did occur, it would have high impact, so the city wants to be prepared. You know, you all, everybody saw Independence Day. <laughs> okay? It didn't work out too well for people in New York and California and D.C. It goes on to quote, we know that this material is very serious and can be scary, frankly, but it is very important, Farrell said, there's no specific threat at this time but it's a test and only a test okay understandably people report that this is an event that they feel the least prepared for she added and then and they are they're not prepared for this i don't know if there's ever a great time to put out a nuclear uh nuclear preparedness psa public service announcement good people but it's important very important and we want new yorkers to be prepared so no time is like the present unquote i guess so now my question is good people is why the announcement are they the powers that be i mean trying to tell us something or is this a test only a test from the emergency broadcast system things that make you go hmm my second question is would other states follow and have similar public announcements i don't know something to think about so just keep you in the loop. Until next time, this is your guy, Mr. Educator, Mr. Communicator, Mr. Free Thinker. Subscribe, share, and like to keep me rocking on the mic. Have a good night. They'll understand you soon, it won't be long. Keep on, keep on, keep on.